In this lesson, we're going to learn how to make our program a little more functional with some new controls. Specifically, we're going to learn about text boxes and labels. Here we are, back in our good old little program. Let's now add some additional controls to this program. Let's add a label and a text box. A label is just used for displaying some information on your form. You can put words in there, numbers, whatever kind of text you want to have. A text box is used to actually store data. Let's see how these work. First, let's move this click me button down a little bit. I'm going to click on it, hold my mouse button down, and drag it down. Put it right about here. Now I want to grab a label. Here's the labels right there. This little A, click on it. And then come over here onto your form, and then again click and draw out a box. Not too big, maybe about that big. And let it go. And now we have an object that says label 1. Now over here, in the properties for label 1, let's come down and change the caption so that it says, enter your name, and then a colon. That's basically just a message we want to give to the user, enter your name. Now notice how the background of the label is gray. That's because it's specified here. Now we could change the back color of this label to match the background color of the form. But then if I change the form again, I've got to change the label. So an easier thing is to change it from opaque to transparent. Notice how that happened. The back style, we change it from opaque to transparent. And now the background of the label is transparent. So if I change the color of my form again, I don't have to keep changing all of my labels. Now my label is a little big, so I'm going to grab this little box on the bottom and shrink it up just a little bit. There we go. Make it a little bit smaller. And let's also resize it this way just a bit. It's a bit wide. There we go. Now our label is sitting nice here in the corner. And let's put a box over here, a text box, so that the user can type in their name. Now right over here on our toolbox, this little AB, that's a text box. Click on that, and then come over here and click and drag a box out on our form. Let's go about that high. And there we are. There's a text box. Now text boxes have a property called text. If you look in the properties list for your text box. And by default, this one says text1. I'm going to highlight this text1 and delete it. I'm going to hit delete on the keyboard. That way, my text box will start blank. And also, let's scroll up to the very top of this list. And while we're at it, let's change the name of the box so that instead of saying text1, let's say it says your name. Now, this is the actual name of the box itself. The box, the object itself, is now called your name. It's not called text1 anymore. It's called your name. All right, there we go. Now, it's important that you don't put any spaces in here. It's going to be your name, all one word. And I capitalize your, and I capitalize the N in name. And that's, again, just a Rick thing. That's one of my personal preferences. But again, it makes your objects easier to read if you capitalize the beginning of each word in the name of your object. In this case, your name. All right, so let's see what we got so far. Let's go ahead up here and click on the Start button. And there we go. Here's our program. Notice how we have our label, enter your name, a text box. I can click in this text box and type in my name. And then I can click on the Click Me button if I want to. And it still says, Hello World. Now, wouldn't it be nice if that box could say, Hello Richard, instead of Hello World? Let's see if we can do that. First, let's see if we can get the message box to just say my name, to just say Richard. 
Let's try that. Let's click on OK here. And let's close our program. And that'll put us back in our Visual Basic Editor. Now, the name of this box right here is your name. That's the name of the box. So instead of having the message box print Hello World on the screen, I want to have it print whatever is in the Your Name box. And let's see how we do that. Let's double click on our Click Me button. That will open up our code window. Now right here, it says Hello World. Let's change Hello World so it says Your Name. So we're going to message box Your Name now. And let's see if we get what we want. Let's come up here and click on the Run button. Okay, here we are. I'll type in my name. And let's hit to click me. And wait a minute. Now it says your name in it. Why is that? It's printing the actual word your name. Hmm. Let's take another look at our code. Let's click on OK. Let's close this. Our code says your name inside of quotes. Oh, wait a minute. That's what's happening. The message box command is taking the word your name. It's inside a quote, so it's actually printing your name in the box. If we get rid of the quotes, let's come over here and get rid of the quotes. Now what will happen is message box will now print the value that is in the your name box. Let's see how that works. Let's come up here again and click on the start button. Once again, here's my program. I'll type in Richard. And I'll hit the click me button. Oh, there we go. Now the message box command is message boxing your name. What is your name equal to right now? It's equal to Richard. And that's how we can use the message box command in a command button to display information on the screen, whatever information the user has typed in. Let's close this. OK. Close that. And there we go. See, this is now a value. If it's inside of quotes, it's just going to print the word your name in the box. But instead, it's going to send the value for your name to the message box function. Now, we're still only halfway there. Because if you recall, I want to have this button say, hello, Richard, or hello, Joe, or whatever you type in to the your name box. Well, here's how you do it. Right in front of your name, type in hello, close quotes, and then your name. Let's see if this works. Now, again, you can ignore that little yellow box that pops up. Let's go ahead and run our program. Oh, oh, what's going on here? Compile error expected end of statement. Now, I've got no idea what's going on here. Compile error means that there is a syntax error in your program somewhere. A syntax error means, essentially, you didn't write your line of code correctly. Visual Basic's going, I got no idea what you want to do. Expected end of statement means that Visual Basic expected the statement to end after the word hello. Something's not quite right. Now, let's click on OK to close this error message. And notice how this is in red. If Visual Basic finds any errors, any syntax errors in your code, it's going to highlight them in red. Now, what's happening here is I've got some text in a string of characters. A string is simply a fancy word for some text inside of quotes and then your name. But I need some way to put them together. Somehow we've got to put these guys together. Well, here's a special command for you. Use the ampersand, that little guy. All right, I'm just going to click down here to turn off that yellow window. I hate those little yellow tips. All right, use the ampersand character, and that will put together hello and your name, and then send them both message box. Let's see how it works. Let's come up here now and click on the Run button. And I'll type in my name. And I'll click on the Click Me. And there we go. 
Now it says, hello, Richard. It took the text, hello, and concatenated. That's just a fancy word for putting two text strings together. It concatenated the word Richard, the value from my box. But notice there's no space between them. How do we get a space in there? Well, let's hit OK here and close our program. And let's just stick a little space right inside there. Remember, whatever you put inside those quotes gets put on the screen. In fact, if I want to put a comma in there, I could put a comma in there too. Let's run it. And I'll type in Joe this time. Click me. And it says, hello, comma, Joe. And there's our space. So in this lesson, we learned a lot. We learned how to put label and a text box on the screen. We learned how to concatenate two text strings together. So now our program's starting to get a little more functional.